The first ever Syrian Constitutional Committee opened early on Wednesday at the United Nations office in Geneva with a speech by the UN Special Envoy to Syria, Geir Pedersen. In his speech, he urged the members of the committee to seize this opportunity and to work towards uh, a constitutional reform in Syria. Uh, he said that this was a good starting point uh, to heal the wounds of war for the Syrian people. And uh, of his speech was also followed by a more emotional speeches by the heads of uh, the delegations from the Syrian government and from the Syrian opposition. Uh, both sides noted the importance of this event and uh, urged members to do utmost to uh, uh, actually achieve uh, some tangible results. Well, there's certainly a lot of optimism and determination to succeed uh, during the opening ceremony, but of course that, that remains to be seen. There have been uh, several UN meetings already held to try to solve the Syrian crisis and they all failed to find a solution. And of course this event uh, this time in Geneva is not seen as a quick way to find a solution to the Syrian crisis but it's certainly seen as the beginning of a difficult process. Well uh, Geir Pedersen he called this event uh, a new chapter for Syria and he hoped that it would, uh, would be a beginning of something meaningful for the country. But this uh, constitutional committee is made up of 150 people, 50 from the Syrian government, 50 from the Syrian opposition and 50 from civil societies and they will stay and work together in Geneva for several days. There is no uh, clear timetable or a known plan for how long this will take, but uh, after a few days, this 150 will then be reduced to 45, and those 45 people will stay in Geneva for what could be several weeks. Julia Lubova, CGTN, Geneva.